www.bansupermart.com What is asset allocation strategy? In fact, asset allocation to me is an idea. Um, yeah, some may say it's a strategy, but it's just an idea uh, derived from the modern portfolio uh, theory, or even more the enhanced efficiency, efficient frontier hypothesis. It's actually talking about how you trade off your risks with uh, desired returns and to find the optimal figure, uh, optimal asset allocation so that you can achieve your objective uh, by definition of the returns, but at a certain level of risk. How do typical investors apply the asset allocation strategy in their investments? Depending on individual objective, I'm talking about individual, um, a strategy usually is actually trying to, uh, rather a route map to achieve certain objective. So it depends on your objective, whether it's short term or long term. If it's talking about a lifelong investment, that means you are talking about creating wealth and enhancing your wealth. So that kind of strategy is different from, let's say, three years later, I want to achieve X amount and so that I can use it for some other purpose. So each of the objectives is different. Therefore, your strategy and product will be very different. Um, on general, the asset allocations, uh, if it's, it's on general, it's on a lot of lifelong cycles. Uh, um, usually, we have this formula if you don't have anything. So, uh, individual can apply uh, if you don't have any idea what to do. If it's lifelong, you can use your age minus 100, um, uh, sorry, 100 minus your age or 110 minus your age, whichever you apply. You want to be slightly more aggressive, you can use 110 minus your age. Say if you are 50 years old, so you can be if you're a more aggressive guy, you can be 110 minus your six, six, uh, 50, which is actually 60. So 60% in equity and 40% in income. I believe that that kind of portion, uh, there's no right or wrong answer or best scenario. It's actually how comfortable are you and how disciplined uh, to employ the kind of strategy until when your objective is achieved. But all in all, you must have something, your strategy, your asset allocation must have something that gives you a very comfort zone that like for example contingency. That's that's why your you cannot ignore totally FD or banks that have savings account. This is for your immediate use. Say rule of time give you about three, six months equivalent to your salaries. Then on the other hand, you cannot also ignore fixed income because that also lower down the overall risk of your portfolio. So that portion itself ranging from each other. So uh, again if you will you will use the rule of time uh, the moment you are aging, the portion of fixed income should be more because that gives you more stable and predictable uh, risk and return. The balancing which is equity, if you are young then you should be more, when you are getting older then you should be lesser. But if you are creating a fund for unlimited time, that means for your future generations, then different, then your equity portion can be bigger. So each individual strategy can be very different. How does the asset allocation strategy work to investors' advantage in times of uncertainties? Your long-term or other your asset allocation will have certain portion in the non-equity side, which is usually lesser uh, in terms of volatility. That will give you the, the slow, steady income to buffer whatever that is actually not making from the equity side. Then overall, you can see your portfolio while waiting for the equity to rebound and get back what you want on long term. The fixed income tends to stabilize your returns and therefore you need not to sell certain equity. Apart from asset allocation strategy, is there another investment strategy that is useful for DIY investors? That itself at any time, that is actually a, 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 a basic fundamental is an idea to be used in any of the strategies. Even you have a capital protected strategy for three years, for example, my, in my illustration just now, you have 65% equity, you have, sorry, you have 65% fixed income and 35% in equity, and that thing still stay on. And you can have employed analyst strategy still as based on asset allocations that like, for example, a value averaging. That at any time you want to keep your portfolio 30, 70, and every three months you rebalance your portfolio by uh, moving whatever excess. If the equity is uh, 30%, this is 70% equity, 30% in fixed income. If in a bullish market, 
market the equity tends to run faster than the, in, uh, the income, then your equity from 70% may become 80% for, for instance, three months later, then you have to rebalance it and back to 70-30 by moving the 10% back to income. So you are locking the profit. So this strategy is also uh, using the asset allocation. It's actually optimizing your portfolio. So beside uh, this, there are many things you can use. So for instance, you can use uh, uh, a long-term strategy for uh, momentum play, you can. That means you're applying fundamental figures by uh, locking in your profit when the index is high. So if you are the index tracker, that means you always look at uh, PE, for, accent, for, in, for instance, that when PE hit for Malaysia market, hit 17 above, seven times above, you try to exit market. That means you hold minimal equity. Uh, then you wait until the market to correct because market always corrects and you come down to let's say a label where you, you think that it's, label, it's cheap enough to enter for example uh, anything below 13 times then you want to enter the market again uh, in between you, you just ignore it you just look at these two so called uh, uh, your, your cap and the floor so that also a strategy you can actually move in and out uh, by using momentum play that means uh, of course still fundamental and not not by you know time the market but you still look at fundamental is market is overvalued you exit the market is actually cheap you enter so that way you also uh, applying uh, asset allocation so there's many strategies you can use it for asset allocations